Welcome back to another Only Fools and Fishings video. The target for this was to catch my personal best pike. And my personal best pike, it's nothing massive. It's not like 15 plus, it's under 10 pounds. So for me, I'd be happy with anything over 10 pounds. These are sessions from, the first one we went to Broome was probably the start of the year, so in January, all up until the start of April, just gone. I'd had so many bad sessions that I wasn't gonna give up until I had a good one. So stay with me until the end of the video because that's that's where it's at. But please, if you haven't already, uh, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, um, and hopefully when the weather starts getting better, I'll be able to get out there a bit more, try to fish with some different species too. But this one's all about pike, let's get on with it. As I said at the start of the video, we headed to Baroon Pit Lakes uh, for the first session. It was me, my dad, and my mate Connor. We fished all day. Eventually, my dad did end up getting a bite, but unfortunately, it came off. Oh, what a day. Getting pestered by stupid little crayfish. But toward the end of the session, patience paid off and I finally got a bite. Come in. Very small. I did manage to catch one of the smallest pike I think I've ever caught. But catching this small pike, I wanted to catch something much bigger. Nice one, mate. Oh, nice little uh, jack in it. Yeah, nice man. Jack nice little jack I pike. I've caught a pike for years, so it's not really my thing, but I thought I'd, I'd do it since it's winter and it's, yeah, nice fish. Uh, can't complain this time of the year. I had a whole session of broom the other day. You had one little one at the end. One small, yeah. And yeah, nothing else. And straight away, what, half hour? Half hour you've been here. It's perfect. Lovely. It's going to go. Oh, it's going to go. As the day progressed, we weren't able to catch any more pike. Um, I even tried going to different swims under anything that looked pikey, but I wasn't able to connect with anything. Now, since I wasn't having the best of luck on the lakes and the still waters, I decided to head down to the river. Let's see how I get on here. Ew. All right, and here's the first one of the day. Unfortunately, this fish had already been caught yesterday. I had to take out a um, another wire trace and some bait. So um, he's well rested. So uh, let's get him back in the water. Let's try and get a bigger one. But it's a good fish to start the day for sure. And the rain's coming as well, which isn't too nice. After me falling over in the mud and the weather getting worse, I decided just to call it a day. I didn't get any more bites as well, so I was just wasting my time. So yeah, we decided to go and check out Rockland Broad. Um, never fished it, did our research. Um, so we had a go. Didn't realize how shallow it was, so finding deeper sections of the broad found to be quite difficult. Um, we maximised everything, tried everything, but unfortunately that was another unsuccessful day out on the water. A couple of weeks had passed and my mate Carl invited me to fish for it in Lake again. It's a fishery that we've fished a few times before. I was pretty confident that we would connect with at least one pike. You know what I mean? Did you get one? Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I've got one. I don't think it's very big. If it is, it's not flipping. 
Yes, yeah, Pike, you can feel it. I can feel Where are you? Hey, hey. Whoa! That's a lot big. Whoa! That's a lot bigger than what I thought it was. Oh, he dropped out the net! No! No! Baby, come back! It's about. Don't spit this is, that. This is the big boy, isn't it? All right, try and keep his head out of him. And we'll try and keep that uh, lure. There we go. Nice. Nice. First one of the day so far. Been on a blanking streak of pipe for flipping ages now, so it's nice to come back here and get a good size for the first one. It's probably just under ten pounds, maybe like eight, but um, we'll get a we'll get a weight on him and then we'll get him back. Right, that is reading nine pound three ounces. Alright, don't go back nicely then. Silly fish. Good. Yeah. That was a weird take again. Why does this feel like I'm just hooked onto a way? Thought it was a log for a minute. Are you gonna be my net man? Get in there. Yeah, have it. Yeah, mate, that's fat. Oh, he is that's fat. fat. He is fat. PB, baby, that's gotta be. This isn't massive to a lot of people, but it's my biggest pike. It's my PB, ten pounds seven. I think we weighed it at. So, yeah, hopefully we can get a couple more. But if not, I'm chuffed. It's really good. Let's get it back. Get in. That was beautiful. How's she feel? Oh yeah. Come on, are you in? Biggest one for Carl, 12-2. Yeah, baby. Let's get some pictures and put them back. Straight away. Yo. Whoa. It's taking a lot of line. It's a bit easy to small. Don't know if it's the one that took you low though. Four for me. Um, Carl's had two or three, and yeah, this is under ten pound, maybe like eight or nine. Long fish was a bit fatter. Should be a double, but yeah, let's get him back. Let's try and get some more while the sun's out. Yeah. <laughs> I need to find the one. Yeah, get a fish slap in there, boy. He's just got it on the back treble, to be fair. This one, Gimpy Pike. But as you can see, it's got a massive chunk taken out of its tail. That's the pike we'd like to catch, that the big mama. So these are lovely to catch. Uh, five, I think, for me. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But yeah, lovely. Yeah. We ticked that off. I got a new PB, and that's the way we like to end the video. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in a new video soon. Peace.